Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important accurate love messages for Aries today. Aries, there's a surprise coming in your love life with the lovers here. It may indicate somebody returning, a surprise return, or it could be a surprise love connection, possibly with a Gemini. Uh, could be with the Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, can be with a Virgo as well, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Aries, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. reading. It could either be you or your person whom you are thinking about or dealing with. King of Swords, this could indicate a strategy, whether it's you or your person, but somebody here is strategizing because they feel like, I need this person. I really want to be with this person. And we've got the lovers here. And the King of Swords can be a little bit of a poker face. I feel like there's an energy of somebody just sort of uh, acting cold. It could be you, it could be this person, but somebody could be acting cold as if they are not very interested or that they're just acting cold, period. And But actually deep down, they want to be very physically, uh, very intimate with you physically, with the lovers here, or that they actually do need you. Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. There's somebody who needs somebody here more than they are saying, okay? And with the Hermit here in reverse, I feel like it, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but this could also indicate somebody coming out of the hermit mode and deciding because the lovers can indicate a choice, deciding to do something very drastic, okay? Um, it will come to them as a surprise or it will come to you as a surprise with the tower here. A surprise movement okay because we got eight of swords here it's in reverse so somebody does not want to think anymore they're sick and tired of thinking or over analyzing and they're going to start to do something really drastic okay but i feel like it is something good because the tower is right next to the lovers it have something to do with uh love of course has something to do with wanting to be with you or you wanting to be with somebody okay again it can be reversed here we've got the nine of ones in reverse and we got these seven of wands here in reverse. I feel like in your past, Aries, maybe there is a sense of letting go, no longer fighting for a certain connection, turning your back on this person or on this connection. May have felt like the fool here with the fool in reverse. Somebody may have made, some, may have made somebody felt like a fool, okay? Uh, because I don't know, the fool in reverse just indicates somebody could have taken some risks or chances with somebody here, but it just didn't pay off, okay? So we've got the Knight of Swords here, some sort of an anger, I feel hostility that I'm getting here, and the Emperor is in reverse, Aries. This whole situation, I feel like it has already happened. It may turn your world just upside down, feeling like you have no control over the situation, no control over yourself. Just really, really mad, really upset here with the Knight of Swords, all right? Again, roles can be reversed. Let's see more. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. This may indicate a second chance. And with the number two here, two of swords, somebody could be confused feeling really conflicted. Should I give this connection a second chance? Or should I give this person a second chance? And Page of Pentacles is right here. You could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. I do sense somebody has been thinking about you, Aries. Perhaps they are thinking about reaching out to you. However, they are not 100% sure with the Two of Swords here. Still feeling conflicted whether they should or shouldn't. But Two of Swords also could indicate block communication. There could be somebody returning sending you a message and this could again with the tower here being the major kana this would come to you by a surprise um you may be surprised by this person you know sending you a message reaching out to you this person may not even live in the same country as you are uh, or if it's not that, Will of Fortune could just indicate internet over uh, like online. Maybe they send you a message online. Let's see more. 
So we've got the six of wands here, Aries. For me, this indicates success, but it's not an easy success, right? That means six of wands, you know, this guy, it doesn't matter. He or she is not gender specific, just came back from some sort of a battle. And there are these people supporting him or her, okay? So I feel like, Aries, this may actually indicate um, success after you know difficulties yeah so it hasn't been easy i do sense you know with the again seven of wands in reverse and the nine of wands in reverse uh, a feeling of you know what i i don't think i have the strength to fight for this connection anymore i should just turn my back on it and you know it's almost like a hopeless energy that i'm getting here as well it could be you or this person whom you are thinking about or dealing with so there is also an energy Aries with the Ace of Pentacles here in my first. I feel like somebody wants to reach out again. Somebody wants to offer somebody uh, a commitment, okay? But it's I feel like it's being delayed because of the Two of Swords here because somebody may be unsure 100% if they should reach out or not. Be maybe because they are still angry. It could be you or it could be your person, but the anger is still there. We've got the Nine of Swords. But also it could mean a very fast communication coming in because swords can indicate communication and the knight of swords is a very fast energy so it may happen pretty soon okay however uh when this happens with the two of swords i feel like uh, someone may either reject the message okay that's what i'm getting or don't reply or don't reply as soon as possible i would say with kind of drag okay uh in responding to this message whether it's you or your person so four pentacles in reverse this may indicate someone feeling that they have dropped the ball but this could also again indicate somebody letting go of this connection and page of wands is in reverse also i feel like if someone is hesitating in regards to reaching out that's because maybe they fear that they're going to be met with hostility okay or rejection that's what i'm getting here and we've got the death here in reverse and queen of cups aries you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio can be any sign i feel like there is somebody in your past whom you know may not have kept their promises it could be you or your person but this person i feel like they may still love you still has feelings for you and maybe thinking about reconciling okay death in reverse reviving your the connection between the two of you all because of love all because the love is still there and the attraction is still there all right aries this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with a video on the screen right now this is the video from my second vlog channel if you're interested to check it out um it's pretty new i think it's less than one week old <laughs> if you guys don't know i have a second channel but my focus is still here uh this is my main channel so i don't post as often on my vlog channel but um anyway aries i'm open for personal readings if you guys would like to book me my information is in the description box below and Aries I post your videos almost every single day if you'd like to be notified uh, whenever I post your videos because it's at different timing you can hit on the bell notification button all right take care Aries bye